with actors, you know, when you get these kind of um, scripts come through, there's a real sort of thought process, lots of thinking about whether you take on roles and stuff like that. But when it comes to this, when Martin sort of calls and says, right, I want to work with you guys again, is it one of those rare occasions in a career where you can kind of say yes before you even see a script? Yeah. Kind of. I think, I, well, I said yes before the script was written. <laughs> 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 yeah. I knew I was going to be doing it no matter what was on the page. I, I, but I was, I was a tiny bit worried that I would love what was on the page as much as I would think that I should love what's on the page, considering who wrote yeah. what was on the page and stuff. Do you know what I mean? You want to go into it. I had, I, the, same, I had the same, actually. You know? Like, there's, a, there's a little bit of an assault because he always puts a challenge yeah. that you're not quite ready for. Um, yeah. So that there is that. You know, there, there is, okay, this is great, but hang on a second. Um, and then it's the processing of that and the refinement of it and all that. Well, I mean, I find it quite a sort of overwhelmingly quite sad movie, and yet I laugh more than I have in the cinema for for, for ages. Um, so, I mean, when 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 you're on a kind of set like this, and you're, that, that kind of balance of tones can be quite tricky. How important is that element of trust when you know the director is going to sort of knock it out the park? Oh, well, you give it over totally. Mm. I mean, you're really just giving it over to the director, 100. percent You know, there's no co-direction. There's no. I mean, Martin involves us greatly and I think he works with people that he's familiar with personally not only creatively and he works with a lot of the same actors again whether it's in theatre I mean even Kerry he hadn't worked well he she had done a little bit in, in uh, Three Billboards Kerry but she had worked with him on stage years and yeah. years ago so he works with people whose opinions he does respect and he has a listen to but at the end of the day you know it's it's his show and his taste is so refined Martin's taste and his 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 understanding of timing and his his understanding of comedy but all of it only works if, for me, in my experience with his work, if there's this kind of bedrock of, of emotion upon which all these kind of macabre and, and unusually dynamic worlds are set upon, you know. I was wanted to talk, I mean, because I loved, I loved all the animals that, that populate the film as well. I wanted to talk about the donkey, Jenny, because I know she kicked you at one point and that's kind of been publicised. Yeah. But I want to talk about the good side, because... Yeah. There's a lovely little bond you have between yeah. yourself. Uh, uh, did, did you get on quite well with Jenny in real life? No, she did kick me, and then all the rest of the time she was an arsehole. Yeah. <laughs> that was her at her best. No, She's she... an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An yeah. asshole. <laughs> uh, she, yeah. She, she, <laughs> um, she was wonderful. Yeah, I mean, she was a bit, you know... She was, you said she was a diva. A little bit of a diva now, to be honest. Her standing was lovely. Her standing <laughs> was lovely, wasn't she? Was it Rosie? But yeah, I, Millie or something, was it? No, Millie no. was the horse. I think it was Rose or Rose, Rosie. I don't know. I have to say I had very little to do with Jenny. Jenny didn't, wouldn't look down her nose at me at all, even. Yeah. Um, because we didn't have, you know, we were on opposite sides of the island. Jenny would stage. say, you had very little to do with me. I had very little to do with you, actually. There, That's exactly, the way Jenny yeah. would answer that. I liked your dog in this. I did. did Myself and Morris hit it off well. Mm. We didn't dance particularly. Uh, it was a little ungainly, shall we say, and somewhat awkward. But <laughs> apart from that, um, he saved me from myself or attempted to. No, he was brilliant. Morris was fantastic. Uh, and even on the last, you know, you can't really talk about the last scene, but there's like, uh, uh, there's something, Collies have a nature anyway that is... That is, I've, I've loved Collies for years anyway, so yeah, he was... They understand the concept of home very much. Yeah, no, they, 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 they have massive kind of loyalty, loyalty and intelligence, and yeah, they're, they're, Morris is great. I'm talking about, I mean, could you work to, I don't know, obviously you've worked with Barry before. You were living with him. Talking in about animals. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to use I'm that segue. You said that <laughs> I did, I, I, li yeah, I, I lived with, Unpredictable I'm, actors, I was going to say. Unpredictable yeah. actors, like Jenny and... Uh, yeah. But Barry. you live with him, did, 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 did you guys sort of cook and spend able to sort of spend much time together off set. Spent a lot of time yeah. in our respective bedrooms, <laughs> uh, sh sharing an abode. No, it was great. It was it was great living with him. I mean, it, me, me crunching the cornflakes took a bit of a hit. Um, I had to have a stash of cereal. I learned quick enough. But it was it was wonderful living with him. You know, he was, uh, at, he was uh, he was a bit more bored on the island, I think, than the majority of us were. You know, he was always looking for a signal on his cell phone. <laughs> but he was. But it was lovely living with him. It was a but very he, communal he, effort. He was, you know, in fairness, it's different when you're... We were working every single day. We were day. going at it a lot, yeah. He had one day a week, and then on a busy week, he'd have three out of seven days he'd be shooting. He had a lot of downtime, and there's not that much to do. And, and he is a city boy. In a, very in, much. In, a, in, a, in a, a very real way, but yeah. But it was, but this whole thing was an incredibly... Look, there's, there's always a sense of the communal in making a film, you know, bringing a film together, or, or a play... There's a sense of coming together. You just have to have it. You have to have each other's backs, and uh, 
And so it was kind of, it was very interesting living with him, yeah, I'd say that. Well, the downtime explains the, the loss of cereal, I suppose. Yeah, no. Oh. He was a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on that note thank you so much guys Thanks much appreciated best of luck with the reason to move here cheers <laughs> ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed yeah. nice hey, hey.